first guest have a wildly popular new podcast. It's called At This Big Age. I like that title. Here's the deal. They talk about everything they've learned in life after turning 35. Oh, you're all like... <laughs> I like, I like this reaction. So they talk about, for example, like, what is it really like freezing your eggs? I've done that, and it's not like the articles say. It's a lot more exhaustive. And what about handling friendship drama? Unfriending people and blocking them? That starts to happen around 35, because you're like, ah, you're not right for me, all right? And even body image. Your body changes. I remember 35 going into the mirror and saying, who stole my 20-year-old body? <laughs> We've had that. So one of the hosts is a reality star and entrepreneur, Tahiri Jose, and... I love it. She co-hosts the show with her best friend, renowned choreographer, Danae B, who's worked with Alicia Keys, Megan Thee Stallion, Beyonce. Together, they are formidable, and they're bringing us into their shared, shared journey as friends and, as I mentioned, their lives in their 30s and beyond. Take a look. At this big age, I feel like I, it's hard to lose the weight now. Because one, I have a baby. Two, I'm over 35. And for my whole life, I was literally like 110, 120 pounds. I, I understand that. And at this, like now I'm struggling. Right, to, to get down. To keep it like at a steady 160, 165. Oh girl, I done passed that. But let me tell you something. I'm having a problem with not being a schmedium. Like I, like I, Never been over a certain weight. Mm -hmm. um, I've never been over 150 pounds. Mm -hmm. And I am a banging, drum roll please. 183! <laughs> 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 you look fab. I, she said I look fat? Fab. Fab. She said fab. <laughs> hey, fab. Please welcome Tahiri Jose and Danae B. this. Uh, I mean, when I heard the name of the podcast alone, because I look, first of all, I love the reaction of our audience when I said 35 uh -huh. and beyond. Um, Tahiri, was it you that came up, you had a vision board yeah, yeah, and you put board. the word podcast on there? Yes, I, I put podcast. Um, There's I, your vision yeah. board. <laughs> it's so cute. I actually have it next to the TV uh, because I do at this big age like to watch my favorite shows. Mm -hmm. And so I put it next to it on purpose so I won't miss anything. So what did you want from the podcast? Because I mean, obviously the, we, did, we do whole shows on right. podcasts because every day someone's dropping a podcast. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I just wanted to find a space or create a space where um, I can lend my voice to how I feel when I watch other podcasts. I feel like women are afraid to own their age. Yeah. Like, Usually, I come from the business where you can't say you're a certain age because then you'll get casted for, for older roles. Right. So I want people to like not be afraid and I want to be celebrated. Like life is to be celebrated no matter how old you are. I agree, I agree. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> and, and Danae, I love it because you bring realness because to your point, both of you are in an entertainment industry. That's right. I remember, oh gosh, oh, it had to be, oh. Like 2008, I said my age on TV, I'm almost 54 now. Wow. And I had another celebrity write me and say, you've made a big mistake. Right. Wow. And I said, why? It's on Google. My <laughs> age is right there, what am I gonna lie? Right. But there is really that pressure. And I think it gets hot in your 30s. Yeah, right. and I think it's the best in your 30s. Yeah. I right. was so excited to turn 30. Well, you were I excited was, to turn 30. I was. And how old are you now? I'm 36. 36? Mm -hmm. Were you excited to turn 35? I was super excited to turn 35. <laughs> I was. I think oh, it's just I was, better no, and better I was excited. Better. I, think, uh, I, I think the older I've gotten, the more I'm embracing. Right. Mm -hmm. um, and the more I don't care, and the more if you guys don't want to cast me somewhere because I look yeah. younger, then don't cast me. What, though, <laughs> was it about 35, because it's in the title of your podcast, that you thought was a sweet spot for a conversation? Well, originally, I thought I was going to retire from dance at 35, but then I hit 35 and I fell into a whole nother realm of my career, and it just felt better. Like, it literally felt like a joy, So a at dream. 35, in your mind, you were preparing for the end of your career, but yes. instead, it was a rebirth of something yes. else. Yes, I was ready to be the PTA president, <laughs> drive, the, drive the van, my son plays basketball. Not at 35. At 35, yeah. I was ready to be in the um, HOV lane. <laughs> I love it. I love So, dear, you're now... 44? 44, about to be 45 next month. You're about to be month. 44. <laughs> I okay. just 
Okay. I'd be scared to say this. Mm -hmm. So you thought you'd be married with three kids? I thought I'd be married with three kids, almost retiring from the police department. Uh -huh. I was supposed to be a cop. So. Okay, so you were supposed to be a police officer. Yes. So I love that both I of you had your retire. Yeah. Do you know the <laughs> average age of retirement? Yes. It's like 60 something. 67. I don't even know. I'm asking you like I knew the answer. <laughs> I don't even know. But to your point, at, at around 35, and I go back in my memory box because I was thinking about you both, you know, I too, I wasn't married. Right. I didn't have kids. I was feeling the pressure, even though I was doing very well in my job, it was like, I didn't own a home yet. Mm -hmm. I did not, I had owned one at one point earlier in my career, but at 35, I didn't own a home. Right. I was not married. I didn't have kids. I'm successful in my career, but others, I'm sure, thought I was not doing well. Mm -hmm. I, same story. Because all the checks <laughs> weren't lining up. The checks that they... That they want. Imposing no, like, us. Yeah. Because everybody is... You're, you're your own author. Like, yeah. this is my book. Yeah. Right. But what were you expecting at 30? Because you had the body conversation. Right. Mm -hmm. The body conversation, because that's when you're... Physicality, you can't run from life. Right. You know, you can't run from age, no matter what people do. Even if you look great on the inside, right. you will try to dip down in those heels and Girl. you can't dip back up <laughs> as quickly. Right? Well, she, she still does. I'm right. still, I'm still well, dipping down. Your body is trained for it. Yeah, I'm right. still no, dropping I down. I have to heat up this car in the morning. Right, honey. the car has to get heated up. Yeah. You got to rev up the motor yeah. a little bit. That's something that I don't care how many things you do on the outside, the, right. it just age happens. Mm -hmm. what, what's, what has been the thing, the big thing you learned at 35 about, I guess that they call it aging gracefully, and I really don't know what that means. Um, I am just really unapologetic mm. about it. Just it was something that switched when it came to my mid thirties. Where I remember I filmed something and I looked back and I just looked super happy and comfortable in my own skin. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I just wake up that way no matter what's happening. And I it's just a switch that happened. I think that's when I arrove. Like is that a word? Arrove or arrive? It's on our show. Any <laughs> words count. I like, oh, we created well, I a like word. it too because yeah. you know we talk about saying your age out loud. Mm -hmm. People don't like to say their weight. Out loud. <laughs> 184. Yeah. Right. And these are Spanx. Right. You look good. You look good. Is that liberating for you to say it? It is because I want the little women coming up before me to understand that there's no such thing as perfection. There's yeah. only but just prog progression, is it? Because yeah. yeah. I'm Latin, so my tongue gets to it. <laughs> but it's, it's about, you know, every day waking up wanting to be a little better than you were yesterday. Like and if that. you don't mm -hmm. like it, then just make the changes. Like, I'm on a, I'm on, on a detox right That's now. That's what you start mm -hmm. to learn after 35. Yeah. If you don't like it, change it. And if the change people it. in your life aren't serving you well, let you got to let them go.